y'all guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to see them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links will be in the description box down below so pisces let's get into your reading first and foremost pisces the thing that i'm being told to tell y'all is we are officially on go move so that means i'm gonna be posting a lot of readings um and i have been trying to hold back on some of the readings because i wait till it gets to a certain place and then that's when i post they're saying put the readings out put the put the messages out and whoever sees it that's the message that they're meant to see if they don't then keep it pushing so you are gonna see probably a lot more readings being pushed out and that's the reason why because apparently everybody is not in the same bracket or are not on the same level and so the messenger messages are now going to be shown to whoever they need to be shown to so if you see them you see them if you don't you don't okay so not my words that's just being what i'm being given all right so dry flower fairy sweet memories so something that was old um innocence nostalgia either way something from the past all right the number is 11 that's a master number so 11 being significant or important to you um 11 is two one plus one equals two um so that could be february or that could be march the second in february you're dealing with aquarius so aquarius and pisces you could potentially be dealing with uh, an aquarius or another pisces your birthday could also be march the second or march the 11th okay um being significant or important uh, but it's also giving me 211. So now it's adding these things together. So 211 could be significant or important to you or for you. That could be a number that you're seeing all the time. Or if you're dealing with Aquarius, that person's birthday could be 211. Okay. Um, and then I'm getting an old song, 777 11. Um, so let me write that down because I need to look that up because apparently I don't know where that just came from. But. Seven 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 ninety three eleven. Seven 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 is a jackpot number. Um, somebody could have been born in ninety three. Somebody could have been born in seventy seven. Somebody's birthday, um, and it could be any month, but born in ninety three on in, on the eleventh day. Okay, so that being significant or important, take it how it resonates for you, because. Yeah, I don't know. It could be 77 on the 11th day. So 77, 11th day. It don't matter what month, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, number four, falling. The unknown descent. Momentum and, and a momentum change. Wow, okay. So I just said a momentum change, but she's falling down. And all of a sudden, stuff is speeding up, okay? So which is what is that a conundrum so as you're going down you're going faster so but either way everything's speeding up okay so the descent that she's having but also a level up so as above so below take it how it resonates the number's four um four is april so pisces aries cusp or you could be dealing with an aries okay take it how it resonates for you um we also have, hold on, so could Taurus be in there? Is Taurus in air in four as well? Okay, so apparently, maybe, I don't know, but because for some reason I'm getting Taurus the bull, somebody being very stubborn. So four could also have that. You could be dealing with the Aries. Um, either way, your birthday being March 4th or four being significant or important to you. Life path number. Um, somebody may be a life path 11, a eight. Um, 88 is also here too. Um, cause this is eight and seven plus one is eight. So you could be dealing with that. Um, that's March 8th. That's also August, which is, is that Virgo and Leo? Whoever is in the eighth month, I don't know, because my mind is going 100 miles per hour because it's saying it's go time, okay? So do not drink poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you, okay? So it's having 
knowing the difference between right and wrong, having high morals, high values. Don't do things that are wrong for you. So do not drink poison. It's also giving me the vibe like somebody that drinks alcohol. So they could potentially be saying, cut back. It's time to cut back on the liquor. It's time to cut back on the things that, um, you know, are harmful to you. It could be smoking. It could be whatever it could cause, because I hear cancer, whatever could potentially cause another side effect because alcohol causes liver cancer or liver, whatever. I'm not a medical doctor. All I'm just doing is do not drink poison. All right. So that's also like messages. So if a person is telling you some shit and I see a divine feminine here and you have a new soul contract. So that's a message that's there. Um, and they're saying, do not cut your hair. So there's a divine feminine that has a new song, soul contract. The person's initials could be, uh, one of their initials first, last, or middle could be P. Okay. Um, those are just what I see on the side. Um, do not drink poison. So do not listen to a person. It, it could a uh, person place a thing. Don't do shit. Don't do stuff that is poisonous to your system. So don't go places that you know could potentially hurt you. Um, do not do things that you know are bad for you. It's plain and simple. All right. Um, and the descent for some reason that's giving me like drugs, a drug vibe. So, and I don't know why I'm hearing like meth or fentanyl or some type of bullshit. Don't do things that are bad for you. Okay. Take a high resonates. Um, number being eight. They are eight being significant. Life path number March eighth. Um, your child could be eight years old. You could have been doing something eight times. Okay. Either way, don't do the stuff that you know is harmful to your life. A beautiful little worm. This thing gives me silk. It gives me soft. It gives me luxury. It gives me like, uh, things that are beautiful. Okay. Beautiful little worm. Take care of yourself. So they want you to do some self care. Okay. Um, comb your hair, brush your teeth, take a bath. Um, do some stuff that is going to beautify your life. Um, get your stuff together around your house, that type of vibe. Um, number being 17, your, that would be March 17th. You could have a 70, uh, okay. So 71 year old parent, or you could be 71. I don't know. Um, you could have a 17 year old child. You could have been born in 71. Take a heart resonates for you. Either way, seven plus one is eight. Still dealing with this, 88, which is also giving me karmic cycles. And I feel like I'm going fast because again, apparently things are speeding up. And so we got to get into alignment with what's happening. All right. So you could be falling down, but that fall is speeding your ass up. Okay. The drop, the descent. Um, okay, so we got a hierophant here, institutions, instru mm, institutions, traditions, religion, society, and its rules, social approval, conformity, forgiveness, trust, wisdom, high level commitment. Okay. Um, so somebody thinks you're paying attention to them and you're not because the vibe that I'm getting right now is honestly like I am so much in, indifferent to a situation right now. Like I don't give a fuck. Okay. And it's just, most people automatically assume that I'm talking about an ex that ship has sailed. And sometimes I'll be talking about that, but most of the time I don't, I'll be talking about something different and somebody be thinking that, um, like if I post something or if I do something, they'll automatically equate it to that person. That person, ship has sailed. I don't give a fuck about that. I be talking about some other shit and people just don't get it. Like, I'm so far removed from them. So when I be talking about some other stuff, but I guess people just be thinking that everything gotta be about them. Everything ain't about you. I don't care about you. You can love a person and still not care about shit they do. Point blank, period. So... Somebody thinks that you care about them. Somebody thinks that you're focused on them or you like, they don't even realize you're so far removed from them and their, their shit. It doesn't matter. And now I feel like there's somebody else because people always think it's the old person, but now there's somebody else that I'm so far removed from. I don't care about your shit. I don't care. And as y'all know, when a Pisces just, that P could stand for Pisces. Okay. You, as y'all know, when a Pisces is over and done with it, we just be over and done with it. Because, listen, 
God himself, excuse me, would have to come down and sit on my bed to tell me that you got to go look at this person. I don't care. So unless God himself come down here and tell me that I got to look at these people or these things, I'm not going to care. I'm going to keep looking this way because I got shit to do. And I don't know why people think that why y'all be thinking y'all so important? And I'm talking to the cross watchers. Why y'all be thinking that y'all so important to somebody? Y'all got like it be the things when they be saying Pisces is so this. Like y'all got that shit so far, shoved far up in y'all head that y'all don't understand. Some of it's not true. Because when they be saying a Pisces is emotional, maybe, or I could be very emotionless. I could be ice cubes to your bullshit. Like literally. My soul won't even connect to whatever it is you're talking about. That's how much I could cut you off and not care. I don't be having time. But for some reason, somebody's giving me the vibe. Like they, they want to be the center of attention. It's not happening. Go go play with somebody else, mom. Go play in somebody else's face. Go play with somebody else's kids. Because the Pisces ain't it. I can almost promise you that, okay? So you better take the loving while we offering. Because once we not offering no more, you can go sit in hell with the devil himself and try to attack us, and we not going to care. We just going to take it on the chin and keep it pushing. God, you see them. Get them. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So somebody out here, betrayal, deception, theft, dishonesty, getting away with something, acting strategically, trickery, and fraud. Be on your guard against deceit and concealment. So somebody wants you to pay attention to them. Um, somebody need a hug. Somebody mom didn't love them. And somebody basically is so far off the beaten path that they think that whatever they did is bothering you. Meanwhile, what this person don't see, they looking beh behind to see who's looking. They don't realize they can run right into God himself and be dealt with. So sometimes you're the teacher, sometimes you're the student. And if you thought that teaching somebody a lesson by doing something malicious to them was teaching them something, look who you can right, run right into. Karma. And karma's a bigger bitch than a Pisces ever could be. So yeah, somebody somebody get ready get dealt with. As they should be. Because they thought that they were dealing with you in a certain type of way that you didn't give a fuck about. Either way, King of Swords energy here. Head over heart, discipline, truthful, honest, mental clarity, authority figure, leadership, reliable sage, sage advice. You think things through from all perspective. I told you this mother sucker keep giving me like I wanna I wanna side eye him. Because for some reason, this person thinks that they can assert their authority over you. But then we got another situation happening here because from what it looks like is they looking at this person. So somebody may have tried to get away with something from a, a king of swords. So this person, I t keep telling y'all, bosses and leaders sometimes have to make decisions that some people have to question. Because again, I told you, I keep on the side eye this dude. Like, why you here? Why you keep showing up? And, and, and who sent you? Why you here for? What, what you here for, dog? But meanwhile, this person being who they are had somebody else stealing from them. So somebody that was a member of the, this person's team, it's almost giving me like somebody did something to you. You were bait. You were the sacrifice. But meanwhile, you was the best player on this nigga's team. Make it make sense. So that's the part that I don't get like why why you why you being that? So you thought that this decision that you made was a good one, it wasn't a good one. Either way, the whole the whole squad of whoever these people are are getting on my nerves. Um because again, this mother sucker keeps making me wanting to like look look here, dog. Back up, back away, and and back up. Okay. All right. Success, victory, public recognition, progress, self self confidence, reward, good news, good fortune, achievements, 
um somebody is blocking because i don't know which way these cards go but for some reason i feel like okay however you want to put them you see what i'm saying however you want to put them it's like a merry-go-round a person just continues they want to be successful i just want to be i just want to be successful meanwhile you're making very 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 bad decisions person um because look who you got on your squad and you, you want a whole lot of attention because that right there, public recognition, that's like somebody want to be a celebrity. Or that's somebody that is a celebrity. Or somebody that's in the public eye. Somebody that is attention seeking. That's what that's giving me. <coughs> Meanwhile, okay, watch your mouth. Okay. Either way, that's what it is. So trying to keep you on cute and mute. They want you to shut the hell up. Probably me. But either way. I'm I'm telling. I'm over here snitching, singing like a bird. <laughs> singing like a canary, okay? Don't even matter. Cause that's how much I don't care. Keep your shit out of my shit, and then you won't have to worry about it being shit. Don't start no one be none. Okay? That's how I'm feeling today. So keep your energy out of my energy. Mind your business, and we're gonna be good. Past that, everything that's happening right now, I'm being told. Let's lay it on the table, okay? This is the hand of cards that we playing. This is what everybody's being dealt with, all right? So, um, somebody trying to block some shit from you. Meanwhile, all they doing is getting blocked themselves. Because they, apparently, they thought they was the boss. They thought they was the leader. But it's a no for us. The fastest way to get under a Pisces skin is to try to tell them what to do, okay? Worry about yourself. Talk to your mom, okay? Don't be over here in my business, please. So either way, as y'all see, somebody walking away from a situation, as they should. Or it could be us, basically just walking away. Like, I said what I said. You saw what you saw. Because literally, working on your money, working on your craft, hard work, high standards, mastery, apprenticeship, talents, skills, development, positive potential. Work-life balance is important to protect, to protect your creativity. You minding your business. It keeps being a thing. Blocking the bullshit. That's all I keep seeing from Pisces. Minding your business. Blocking the bullshit. Don't drink the poison. The poison is everything that they're trying to give to you that basically is like, you know it's not for your highest good. It's not for your highest good. You see it. You feel it. There's a change here. Worms. Worms. Little silkworms. There's a change and a transformation. The unknown descent. That means you don't even know where you're going. But somebody trying to hold you to a distant past, a distant memory. Meanwhile, this person ain't even like... Whoever this person is that's giving, making me side-eye them, they're not even where, monitoring their own camp, but they want to monitor you. You need to focus on what's, in, what's happening around you, um, sir, ma'am. Ma'am, sir. Focus on what's happening around you because it's a lot of sneaky, deceitful ass behavior happening around you because people are like talking about you and all this other extra stuff. Meanwhile, you meddling in somebody else's life. Whoever this person is that's trying to meddle in your life, they got somebody else meddling in, in their life. Make it make sense. Focus on yourself. The end result is, again, somebody leaving something behind. When you make a decision, do it with confidence. So if you blocking out whoever these people are, be confident that you don't need them. So that's almost giving me the vibe like I'm burning that bridge and y'all can all go to hell, okay? That's the vibe that it's giving me. That might be what you're saying. I don't care about that. Because literally that's the vibe that I feel like I'm in. I don't care about that. Don't, don't let your shit end up in my shit because guess what? I'm going to expose it and I'm going to keep on moving because at this point, I don't care. I didn't gave you long enough to clean up your shit. You didn't do it. So at this point, get the fuck out of my face. Take your, your people. And get the fuck out of my face. That's all I'm getting. All I'm getting is there's a lot of cuss words happening. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of cuss words happening. But the point of it is, is it is to make sure that these people understand that you don't need them. All they are doing is seeming like they're trying to latch on to your, your future, your destiny, your... You don't need them. Quiet is kept. It's almost like they know that they need you. You're going to be fine, Pisces. You're going to be fine. You would be even better if they go mind their own business. 
that's the all that's the only vibe i'm getting so be mindful everything is speeding up at this point if them people cross your path or them people try to like leak their shit over into your shit expose them and keep it running it ain't no more looking back because right now 2020 2020 ain't no looking back they made their choice you made your choice. Everybody need to be okay with where they stand in that. It's time to move on, okay? So Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.